Have you ever come across a picture and wondered how you would write a prompt for it? Like this picture. What are you looking at here? How would you write a prompt for this? You know, maybe pink and gold armor, sunny day, screen grab, something like that. But the best way to do it is to just ask Midjourney directly. As long as you have the image saved on your computer, you can ask Midjourney what it sees by using the describe feature. In Discord, you're going to hit forward slash describe. Then it will give you the chance to choose your image. Upload and hit enter. Now it will give you four different options. We have a pink and gold robotic person, a futuristic person in metallic pink makeup, futuristic female portrait in pink and blue colors, cyberpunk artwork of a cyber man who is looking directly at a blue sky, blue sky photo in the style of pink and gold. You'll see these numbers below the picture. This is where you can click on one of the prompts and then hit submit. We're gonna do that for each of these. Let's take a look Look at the results. I think these are interesting. Not bad. Pretty cool looking. Ooh, these are a little different. And uh, these aren't that great, but I do like the backgrounds. But what if you're not satisfied with these results? What if they don't resemble the original picture enough for you? Well, there are a few things you can do. The first and most important thing is I would add the original reference picture as an image prompt. Here's how you do that. You need to click this little plus button by the prompt box, hit upload file, find the picture you're looking for, hit enter, and upload it to Discord. Now we can take this and use it in our prompts. You're going to click on it again so it expands. Then we're going to right click and hit copy image address. Now we're going to go back to our describe prompts, hit them again, but this time hit control V or command V. Copy the link to our reference picture and now hit submit. I'm going to do that for each of the prompts. Now what that's going to do is give a foundational picture for our prompts. Whoa. As you can see, these are already getting a lot closer. Same with these. I like number one a lot. These are pretty cool. Oh, that's really close. It would be extremely hard to write this prompt on your own without the help of the describe feature. But there are a couple more things you can do. And let's just use this prompt as an example because I think it got pretty close already. That's the cyberpunk artwork one. Number four. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to image prompt the reference picture. But the next thing you can do is add a weight to that reference picture. You can do this by including dash dash IW and then a number between 0.5 and 2. So just for example, if we did 0.5, that means the reference picture would be less important than the prompt. Whereas if we put the weight at 2, that means that the reference picture would be twice as important as any words we use. You know what? Let's try both. So here's a pretty clear clear example of what the weight will do. At 0.5, only one of the images is facing the same direction as the reference picture. But when we bump the weight up to 2, now three of the images are facing the same way as the reference picture because we told that picture to hold a lot of weight for the generation. And I would say that these are getting pretty close to that original image. But if you're still not satisfied, there are a couple more things we can do. This next thing I would recommend with or without the reference picture as an image prompt, you're going to adjust the stylized or the chaos value, even both. You could lower the stylized value to zero, and this means Midjourney will follow your prompt more closely. Or you could raise the stylized value and let Midjourney have some creative freedom. 1000 is the highest. Alternatively, you could add some chaos value, and this will change how much variety appears in your grid. Chaos is set to zero by default, which is why most generations kind of look the same. The chaos value goes up to 100, and at 100, all four pictures are going to be completely different than each other. Here it is at stylized zero. It's hard to tell what it did, other than you might notice these pictures are a little less pretty, and that's honestly what the stylized value will do. Lower means more literal, and if you don't write your prompt correctly, Midjourney is just going to throw its hands in the air and be like, this is what you asked for. And I don't really recommend lowering the stylized value. Here it is at S400. These are quite pretty. Here it is with a little bit bit of chaos and you can see that there's a bit of variety inside the grid. Each of the four pictures look a little different from each other and with chaos at 40 the pictures are going to look very different from each other. Very different considering you're using a very complex and specific prompt and also including a reference picture. So basically these are as different as you could get. Do you want to see what it looks like at chaos 100? We can try. While we're waiting for that to generate I wanted to announce something special for you. To be completely transparent I'm not interested 
interested in having sponsors in my videos on this channel, but I need a way to keep this viable for my future. So I created a prompt pack, 51 of my favorite prompts with 69 total examples. It's available for $14.99 on my website. I know you could experiment and create some of these prompts on your own, but I wanted to save you time and show you exactly how to make these amazing images. Check it out and let me know what you think. Oh, whoa, here's Chaos 100. <laughs> Uh, I love number two, but the <laughs> Chaos 100 is tough to recommend. Believe it or not, there's one more thing you could do. You can hit re-roll on the describe feature and get four more prompts. Now these are going to be similar, but not the same. I think that's worth something when you're really trying to hone in on a particular style. Now before you go, I have a couple more things to point out, and these were brought to my attention by Squire Z over on Discord, so I wanted to give a big thank you to them. Sometimes the describe prompt will mention an artist and a attach a hyperlink to their name, but sometimes it will mention a name without a hyperlink. That means that name does not exist, and that's just hilarious, right? But apparently Midjourney has had the capacity to interpret made up names for a while now, so that might just be a leftover product of that don't really know how it works. And also, aspect ratios might seem a little funny, like 91 by 51. Mid-journey outputs actually round to the nearest 32 pixel value, so if you use something like 16 by 9, you don't necessarily wind up with that exact ratio, which is why they come back slightly different when you run it through the Describe feature. And I don't know where to put this, but I have to say it. Please keep in mind that Describe uses a model to describe your picture that's not inherently native to mid journey in the sense that just because it can describe something near perfectly doesn't mean that mid journey can accurately recreate that picture like this example if you use describe on a picture with text like find your balance describe will be able to read that a photo of a lake and mountains with words on it find your balance find your balance but when you see when you try to generate it mid journey will not be able to recreate this text even though it knew what it was supposed to do you see so you just got to keep that in mind it's not perfect even though it seems like it should be. There's a video on how to get the most out of Midjourney's Describe feature. Leave a like on this video so we can share it with more people. I hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you next time. Peace.